Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone did have a wonderful Christmas. By the way, Merry Christmas. For today's topic, I will be talking about OOBE. That will be out of the box experience for people who purchase new system. When they boot up the system, they need to configure Windows 10 and Windows 11. There are questions coming from my friends and colleagues whom I built PC for, and they've asked me this question. Hey Q, how do you actually do it as in like when I boot up the system, it's built by you. You don't even have to set an account to give me a generic password to log into my um, system, whereby I will need to configure the system itself. And they have compared my way of building a system as to others, whereby others will give them the PC and give them the generic password where they have set the account on the system itself. So this is something which I will share with you and advantage to this, right? Every time when you build a new PC for a friend or to have a system to be sold off, as in like you do not require the system itself, right? It's often good to practice this way. Let's get into it. Take for example, you have upgraded your PC and your old PC, you do not need it. It's either you sell it off or to donate it to someone who needs it. Right in front of you here, in fact, it's the interface of Windows 11 whereby the configuration starts. Now, you know that you need to set an account, you need to set a password, you need to log in and you need to do all the configuration before you can allow someone to access to this uh, system. Over here, right, when you have prepared Windows 11, this is on a Windows 11 OS, straight when you boot up, you will have this interface. Now, how to bypass this? There is a simple trick, which on the keyboard itself, just press Control Shift F3. It will take you to the auditing mode, which I'm gonna show you later. Now, that is where you can do all the driver's updates, things like your graphic card, your AMD, let's say it's AMD chipset or Intel chipset. As you can see here, see it bypass and it takes you straight to the administrator mode. Once you get this page right, leave this aside. This is whereby it will allow you to reboot the system and bring it back to the original state whereby it prompt the uh, users to configure the uh, Windows 11. With this said, I can approach directly into the uh, drivers that I required. This is actually an AMD system, so I have downloaded. So we can download all the drivers and the supportive application. Or if you have a graphic card like NVIDIA, you can download and install straight. I'll just skip the installation on the AMD chipset itself and to bring you to the main attraction, which is the uh, Windows update. So basically what you can do is to update the uh, Windows uh, KB, or should I say the patches and such. So once you have actually done everything right, I'll show you later on how to reboot the system and you will bring it back to the configuration page. The uh, patches are all done, now pending to restart. So I'll just show you how it's been done. So when I click on restart, See, it will bring you back to the exact same page where you have toggled the uh, auditing mode. So again, you can actually do a check on the updates, which I've done earlier. You can keep updating until you don't have any more updates. See, this is done. As mentioned to you, you can do a couple of checks. So I'm just going to check again, make sure that all the updates are done. Okay, it's done. It's all updated. So right now you can bring back the configuration page as in like the out of the box experience for whoever is using this PC. On this interface, just set this to shut down. I will show you when it shut down and boot up. So when I shut down, it will clean all that I've actually downloaded and such. So it will just re I mean, shut down the system. I'm going to toggle to turn on the system again. So when the system is booting up, it will bring you back to the out of the box experience. 
so that your user or the owner, the new owner of this PC can configure Windows 11 according to his account, his or her account, or even password. See, it boot up to this page. Now the pros on this, right, it will give the owner of this PC to have his own account and his own password and not creating additional um, administrative, uh, or should I say administrator account. Besides this, all the drivers are updated, including the Windows update, so that the new owner does not need to actually do all the updates. So you will be sure that once it's configured, the user can start to use the uh, PC itself. So there you have it. Hope you guys have actually enjoyed what I've shared with you. And for those who are actually new to my channel, welcome to my channel. If you do like my content, do remember to subscribe and to hit on the notification bell button. Till then, take care, goodbye, see ya.